Here are the top 10 most expensive Wii U games to collect, according to my own research on eBay. Number 10. Xenoblade Chronicles X Special Edition. This package came with a 100 page art book, an art card, and a soundtrack on a USB drive. Of course it came with the game too, which had an alternate art on the reverse side of the cover. It goes for about $100 complete in box used, and $140 sealed. Chronicles X has been a Wii U exclusive for a long time, but in 2025 a remaster is going to come out on the Switch. So it'll be interesting to see how that release affects the prices of this Wii U one. Number 9 is Axiom Verge Multiverse Edition by Limited Run Games. It includes the game, a Blu-ray documentary, an art book, and a poster. This edition also came out on the PS4, Vita, and Switch. Price-wise, it's pretty much a tie with Xenoblade Chronicles at $140 sealed. I don't have enough information to estimate the complete and box used price because almost all the ones I see selling on eBay are sealed. That's the way limited run games is. A lot of the people that buy them have no intention on opening them. Number Great is Zelda Twilight Princess HD. This is a remake of a game that came out on GameCube and Wii. It goes for $100 complete in box used and $150 sealed. By the way, I am not considering the prices of graded copies for any game on today's list. The market for those fluctuates so much that you cannot be certain about what the average price is. Plus, they don't seem to sell that often, at least on eBay. Most just sit there as active listings with astronomical buy it now prices. Number seven is Zelda Twilight Princess HD, the Amiibo Bundle. It came with the Wolf Link Amiibo, which unlocks the Cave of Shadows Challenge Dungeon. I'm not sure what that is, but I'm sure it's a wonderful place. Despite it having the figure included, it doesn't raise the overall price that much. It goes for $130 complete in box used and $170 sealed. Number six is the Book of Unreal. Written Tales 2, which is a point-and-click adventure that got great reviews. It goes for about $140 complete in box, used, and $180 sealed. Number 5 is another Zelda game, Wind Waker HD Limited Edition. This one was only sold at GameStop if you bought it in America. It included a 5-inch Ganondorf figurine. It goes for about $200 complete in box used, and $300 sealed. What I found interesting is is that a lot of people are selling the figurine by itself or the game by itself. Perhaps people actually wanted to open this up and play the game and they wanted to play with the figurine as well. Also note, other places in the world sold this edition with what in my opinion is better looking packaging, but there wasn't enough information to predict the pricing on that one. Number four is Devil's Third. This was exclusive to Wii U and it bombed. Two things that make it rare. There's about one that sells every week on eBay. Unlike other games on this list, the complete in box used price is pretty much the same as the sealed price, which is $250. My theory is that some people are just curious about this game and they actually want to play it. So they gravitate toward buying the used copies. The multiplayer servers were taken down only one year after release. So if that had not happened, I bet the prices would be higher. Number Number 3 is LEGO Marvel Super Heroes Walmart Edition. Unlike Devil's Third, this game was a multi-platform release, but only Walmart sold this special edition, which came with an Iron Patriot LEGO figure. Not many people wanted to go to Walmart, apparently, because only three of these have been sold on eBay so far in 2024, and they all went for between $300 and $500, and that's complete in box used. I could not find a single sale of a sealed edition, but if there was one, I can imagine it selling for a thousand dollars. Number two, the American version of Mario Kart 8 Limited Edition. In the US, this edition was sold in limited quantities and only in person at the Nintendo World Store in New York City. It came with a spiny shell figurine, two sold on eBay in 2023, one for $1,000 and one for $1,200. Both were complete in box used. None have been sold so far this year, but while I'm making this video, I see an active auction 
for one, so it'll be interesting to see what the final price on that one is. This edition was sold in Europe with different packaging, but those sell for less than $100. Before we get to number one, I have some honorable mentions. These are ones that are so rare that sales of them happen too infrequently to establish an average price. One of them is Skylander's Trap Team Color Alive Starter Pack. Pictured here is the Wii edition. The Wii U edition is so rare, it's hard to find a picture of it, unless you want this one. According to price charting, one did sell in 2020 for $400. The person selling this damaged Wii one is asking for $400, but nobody's buying it, and it has been relisted multiple times. I don't really know what Color Alive is, but I imagine any kid that actually got this probably opened it up and uh, played with it and probably lost all the parts throughout the house. There have been other Skylander sets on the Wii U that are rare, like Imaginator's Dark Edition and Swap Force Dark Edition. It is also hard to find recent sales for those as well. Another honorable mention is this Nintendo Land that came with a Luigi Motion Plus Wiimote. Nintendo Land was a packing game for a while on the Wii U, so it is a very common, cheap game. So I don't think that many people were motivated to buy the special edition with the Wiimote. According to price charting, only one has ever appeared on eBay, and it was sealed and sold for 400 bucks. And the last honorable mention is this Target exclusive edition of LEGO Jurassic world, which came with a Dr. Wu figurine. Only one has appeared recently on eBay, and it was incomplete. It was being offered for $224, but sold at an unknown best offer price. Number one is the American version of Hyrule Warriors limited edition box set with scarf. Only about 300 were available for sale, and you can only get them at the Nintendo World Store in New York. Here's the people that got it, lucky bastards. A sealed one recently sold for $1,800, and a complete in-box one sold for $1,600. Note that the regular version of this game sells for around $10. So that is one expensive scarf. You can get the same scarf in the European edition for far less, but it wouldn't have that fresh New York City smell to it. Mmm, buildings. Check out some other top 10 list right here on the screen. I hope you enjoyed this one. Take care, everybody.